Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I have a special treat for you. A wonderful, very talented author friend of mine, Laura Tebert, is here, and we're going to have a conversation with you and share something very special with you related to Prince and, of course, your spirit. So you don't have to be a Prince fan to participate in this cool opportunity. Coming up this weekend on Sunday, the 14th, yep, Sweetheart's Day, Valentine's Day, Laura is going to be offering a five-day challenge to help us to get our groove back, to inspire our spirit, and to really provide us encouragement to live our best lives. So with that, I want to talk with Laura and find out what got into you to create this cool opportunity? Like, tell us, Laura, um, what inspired you? And, and, and maybe before doing that, since I know you so well, give us a little um, backstory about how you got to this point with this whole Prince love and, and then this challenge that you've created from that kind of journey. Oh, sure. Well, thank you, Bridget, for having me on today. I'm so excited to be here on the Above Life channel. <laughs> so I am Laura Tebert. I am an author, a blogger, and a speaker. Um, I uh, My most recent book that I wrote was a um, biography of Prince, and it was published in 2017. I happen to have it here. It's called The Rise of Prince, and I co-authored it with Alex Hahn. Um, and as I researched this biography, um, in that process, I noticed a pattern of habits and behaviors that Prince repeated throughout his life. And, you know, anyone who rises to global superstardom is, by definition, doing something different from most. I think we can all agree on that. And um, I started realizing that what Prince had left was really almost a roadmap. And I thought, if I follow this, could I too transform my life? Could my life, you know, of an everyday person become more exhilarating and more hopeful and maybe maybe could I be more successful and achieve more so that's what I did during the year 2019 I lived like Prince oh wow wait a minute so that was 2019 so that we're talking over a year ago you did that yeah January well, 2019 yeah, back in 2019, which seems like, you know, it had to be at least 50 years ago, but <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, right? Yeah. So what I did that year was each month, I took one Prince inspired habit or behavior. And I did that for a month, and then it would end and I'd go on to the next month and I'd start a new behavior. So like, for example, in February, I uh, inspired by, you know, the way Prince dressed up for everything. Oh, I dressed yeah. up for everything I did. Right? <laughs> like no running to Target in sweats that no. month. <laughs> Who among us is, hasn't been guilty of that once in a while? But Are yeah, you kidding I just, me? I can think I have yeah. my cozy pants on now. <laughs> and sometimes, hey, in, in 2020, I think we've all spent way more time in sweatpants and leggings and what have you than, than we ever anticipated. But I, you know, for example, that month I learned about something called enclosed cognition, which basically says what you wear influences your mindset. And uh, it definitely wow. changed mine that month. I think I held myself to higher standards and I was maybe wow. more professional in my work. So that's how my year went. And um, what I want to do this year, because I think we can all agree, 2020 maybe knocked us down a couple times. <laughs> maybe it wasn't our most friend. Let's just, let's just say it. Yeah. It wasn't our friend. It's okay. We no, it wasn't. And, and, you we know, don't use that word here, but yes. <laughs> that's right. Maybe maybe our mojo has, uh, you know, gone missing. Our mojo and is low, low, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Prince would not approve, or any <laughs> other of the fantastic, fabulous rock stars that we've channeled here in Above Life. They would not approve of our low <laughs> mojo. <laughs> that's right. We got to, we got to. Help. Rate up. <laughs> 
So what, what I'm doing is uh, on February 14th, um, I'm going to launch a free five-day challenge, calling it the Live for Love Challenge. And mm. um, for five days, you can get a little taste of what it's like to take a walk in Prince's high-heeled booties. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to wear them right we can actually wear our own <laughs> this is true because i think a lot of us couldn't squeeze our feet into them <laughs> if we were to have them but yes you can actually walk in any any booties you want <laughs> but, um, we're, the idea is to take a step out of your comfort zone um, in a way that you choose, right? And, and hopefully into a more exhilarating experience of life that will help you feel like, hey, I think that little spark inside is, it, it's been flickering, but now I see it coming a little, back a little stronger, you know, my mojo's coming back. So take a step, you know, in Prince's high heeled booties, out of your comfort zone and into an exhilarating life. And that's the goal of those five days. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, oh my gosh. So getting out of our comfort zones, I mean, that's something I personally feel like I've been in a little bit of a rut. I mean, that can happen, I'm sure, despite what we've experienced in 2020. And now that we're in 2021, I feel like what you're saying really resonates, the out of your comfort zone piece, because this feels like what you're offering, Laura, feels like an opportunity for us to just kind of dabble and be playful and to maybe experience ourselves, our spirit in a little bit different way than maybe we have in the past and give us like permission to actually start to have fun again and enjoy life a little bit more and not be so serious and heavy about everything. I think the timing is really, um, really divine. Let's say it that way. Yeah, you know, it, it did feel like people were ready for this. Now, I think, you know, a lot of us are bored of our routines. And we're looking for a little something else. Um, yeah, I, I think 2020, you know, at first, it was um, a real jolt in that it did push us out of our comfort zones. But you know, in a way we didn't choose, right, collectively. And um, like a shock, yeah. It was a shock. And, and now I think it's just a lot of people feel disconnected or isolated or stuck in this very boring routine where they're just very limited. And so um, these five days, you're right, the timing does feel really good because it, it does feel like people are ready to just, you know, take a step. And um, because I, you know, 2020 wasn't great, but again, 2021 at this point is a little bit more of the same, you know, so. Yeah, we haven't quite broken, broken through that kind of almost barrier, this invisible barrier kind of piece. And so, um, yeah, definitely still feels a bit like that. Yes, I would say yeah. for sure. So are there things that are, so I'm thinking about this, a five day challenge. When I think about challenges, sometimes I get a little, let me just be honest, intimidated because it seems like, okay, okay. And I know this is free. So I'm like, okay, so it's going to be a ton of work. Like how much commitment is this for me? Like, can you right. think maybe about, about how it works? Like, like, do I get an email? Is it like on a, a different place? Do I have to go someplace to pick up this information every day? Or how does, can you talk a little bit about what I can expect? Sure, sure. So what you can expect is um, you sign up and then you will be receiving an email each morning of the challenge. And the email will talk briefly about um, the, the challenge. So for example, um, day one is going to be prioritize play. So again... Yeah. <laughs> this is that already sounds like fun. Sunday, we can prioritize play. Did everybody hear that? Sunday, the email is prioritize play. Prioritize play. Woo! And it's Valentine's Day. So, <laughs> uh, but it's just, it, it really, these are just small moments that you're injecting into your day. This is not a big onerous, I need to spend hours on this. 
No. So it's not like a big like self-improvement plan that I have to do this and this and this and this no. kind of thing. Bridget, this is one day, right? Okay. So this is just a couple moments in your day. So you read the email. Hopefully you'll get a little known Prince story. It'll be like, oh, I'm learning, you know, I'm a little, I'm kind of surprised about that about Prince. And oh. um, then it makes you a little bit about what happened when I, as an everyday person, applied this to my life. And then you, you, it'll be over to you with a few be brief instructions on how to insert you know that day a little play into your life like maybe it's just dancing around the kitchen while you cook you know it's these are just small things that you integrate that day and if you want you can uh, watch a, a brief video I've got about a eight minute video each day where kind of provide a little more in depth if you want to go a little deeper um, and you can pop over to the private Facebook group as well if you want to chime in and oh, yeah. Yeah, Facebook group. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just ask a question, but you don't have to. You don't have to go to Facebook at all if you don't want to. So it's really something it's meant to only take, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day. And hopefully what you'll get out of it is so much more than the time you invest. Wow. It sounds super simple. And I tell you right now, simplicity is the key. <laughs> so many things out there that we could be focusing our attention on. And this sounds easy. This sounds simple. But I also hear you kind of saying that we can go deeper if we want. So like in the videos, are you highlighting stuff for Prince fans specifically, or is it about the lesson for the day or the message of the day? It's really about the message. And, you know, I might share a little bit more um, about these lessons as they played out in Prince's life, but also I'm talking about our own lives and what, you know, a lot of times there was science behind some of these, you know, activities such as like what I shared about enclosed cognition. So there is a real good reason. What is that? That again, can you can you go back and because oh, yeah. <laughs> I get that you're using the content that you shared in your blog in 2019 about living as Prince, um, and this is one of those lessons. So can you talk about that? Because I'm just curious about it. It sounds interesting. Well, it's really, you know, for example, uh, you know, Prince was just known for always head to toe, just looking fantastic, right? You never <laughs> saw him slouching around in sloppy clothes and no sweatpants. Yeah, right, right, exactly. No jeans, even no jeans, but we don't need to go that far. But you know, what enclosed when I researched it and learned about enclosed cognition, it all made a lot of sense because really, um, you know, there have been experiments done where um, people have been given, you know, a doctor's lab coat and they're suddenly carrying themselves differently. They are operating with an air of authority that they didn't have before. So clothes really do make a difference in um, how what our mindset is. So there's a lot of, and I, amazingly, all these habits had some science behind them. So that's the kind of thing you'll learn about in the videos. That really applies right now for all of us who have been Zooming it up and working from home to get yeah. back in in a fun, playful way to like, okay, you got to actually, you guys, you got to put your dress pants on for work, or you got to, you got to, you know, put the jewelry on again, that kind of a thing, instead of making it be this arduous experience, embracing the way that we, you know, take on the colors and the fabrics and maybe learning this life lesson, like from somebody like Prince or somebody that we look up to like that, I think. That's true. The encouragement we need to transition from our Zoom meetings back into real, like in person meetings, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I even, you know, I try to make these things really simple to do. So, for example, with the um, day that's going to be dress up, I'm actually even provide a formula. <laughs> so oh, good. <laughs> People who are more oh, mathematical minded can just put it together. So, you know, top plus pants plus some kind of cool topper plus, you know, accessory. So I make it super simple. None of this is going to be hard. You're going to be able to walk into your closet and go boom, 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 put it on. And there you go. <laughs> oh, I, I would love to see pictures of that, like on um, hashtagged on uh, Instagram. Oh yeah. That yeah. Would be so cool to see everybody dressing up. Oh, 
we should do that. Yeah, that'll be it'll awesome. be a lot of fun. Hopefully, people will take pictures of themselves if they have a full length mirror, or you know, share the pieces of their outfit. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun that day. But all these days are gonna be like this, right? Just simple. <laughs> Um, quick. And then I, you know, the interesting thing is going to be just watching, what does this do for me today? You know, do I like, is this something I want to continue? Yeah. How does it help me feel and connect? It feels like connection. It's like invitations, just invitations, you know, it's beyond journaling. It's actually taking some kind of action that to me feels really creative. And I, I love, that's one of the things that, you know, I love about Prince is that such a well of creativity and and in my work creativity and intuition is like the same thing it's really the same genre people don't realize it but that's exactly what it is it's like channeling your spirit and you're co-creating and that sounds like something that's just so um it's beyond inspiring it's like medicine right now it's like something you really need healing. Yeah, I mean, in his autobiography, uh, it's called The Beautiful Ones, Prince wrote, and actually in an instruction to his co-writer, he said, I just want to tell people um, to create. And he said, just start by creating your day and then create your life. Wow. And that's what these five days are about. Day by day, you're going to start creating a more exhilarating life. Oh, gosh, I love that. Oh, my gosh, that's just amazing. And, and you also mentioned, too, that there is sort of like through this process, it, you kind of alluded to it a bit, like with the Facebook community. And this challenge is only five days. So it's one day at a time through email you've created a Facebook group during just during this time so people can interact. So if somebody signs up like right now, right this minute, which by the way, you need to <laughs> watching this and you want to be part of this, you have to sign up by Saturday midnight. You have to sign up before the end of the day on Saturday. And that's fast. So the 13th, I'm talking February 13th, sign up by the end of the day on the 13th. So you can get that first email on Sunday and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But, but as soon as you sign up, you get access to that Facebook group if you choose to, right? So it comes in my email and I get to say, yes, I want to be in it. So that sounds like a the start of connection. Like it's not going to just go away. Like you're going to stay in touch with us after that kind of a thing, like through That's email, right. I assume, right? Yeah, absolutely. So there is a private Facebook group. And um, if you choose to participate, you can ask questions, you can connect with other like minded people who are kind of on their own journeys. And I think we're and all not just Prince fans. <laughs> no, no, well, Prince fans for sure are going to be there. So if you're Prince, there'll be some. Oh. Yeah, there'll be some, but there are just some people who want to just try a little personal growth in February, you know, so um, it's it's all kinds, it's all kinds, it's all ages. I actually just um, was talking to a Broadway dancer and he's going to do it. Uh... <laughs> Um, so, you know, there's lots of people trying this, um, but yeah, and then, you know, you'll, you'll be on my email list going forward, and so I'll be in touch with you regularly. Um, in fact, um, this, this sort of mini course is just to give you a little taste of what it's like to live like Prince, and then in June, I'm launching a full um, online course, and it will be a 15-week course, and actually at the end of the five-day challenge, you'll get an email about that. And if you want to participate, you'll have an opportunity to save your space. Um, there'll be a pre-sale. So uh, wow. it's, you know, if you want to so like go early bird pricing, so yeah, I get a deal you know, if I go to the five yeah. days. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. If you feel like the five days, you know, sent you on a trajectory that you were really loving, then hey, come on, try the, you know, imagine what you could do in 15 weeks. So um, that's where it's all leading. But really, the five days are just like my gift. And mm -hmm. um, at the end of the fifth day, the fifth day is about adopting your alter ego, which mm -hmm. is really fun <laughs> exercise um, that a lot of actually a lot of performers and um, athletes use, you know, Beyonce has Sasha Fierce. I mean, Lady Gaga, David Bowie had Ziggy Stardust. 
Mm -hmm. uh, many, many performers use this and you'll learn how to apply it to a certain, you know, field of play in your own life, like whether it's your work life or whether it's your health and fitness, and it enables you to think about who you want to become. But at the end of that day in the Facebook group, I've got a very special surprise for everybody who participates and um, you can come on in and I've got an individual surprise for you. So that's how we'll close out the five days and then you'll get the opportunity to join if you want to do more. Oh, that sounds amazing. I love that. And that alter ego vibe, that means anybody, like everybody, this isn't just for Prince fans. I mean, it's for Prince fans. Of course, if you're a Prince fan, you'll love it, but it's for anybody to have this experience and expression. When you say alter ego, I totally think about higher self. You yes. Know, our higher self, our soul, our spirit as a guide for us. So you guys, this isn't abnormally, this isn't something different. This is something, you know, this is something you crave, you ask for, and now you can have it through this, this experience, this kind of playful experience, moving into the energy of creativity and personal growth through this inspired experience. So I'm excited. I'm totally going to sign up. I think I'm so glad I so excited you'll be in the group. Um, we're going to have a fun and we're and a funky time. So <laughs> <laughs> a Prince thing, right? Funky. Yeah, it, but you know, honestly, like you said, you could really do this um, with anyone you admire. I mean, you could live like Mark Twain or you could live well, like. Yeah. Freddie and in, in our, in our uh, above life channel, it's definitely a Freddie Mercury thing. People you can live like Freddie, anyone that you know enough about, you know, you could certainly apply this um, with great those idea. Lessons. People can yeah, yeah. their own little challenges and their own little Facebook groups for whoever they're fans with. That would be fabulous. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah. this is uh, this is just meant to inspire, and um, I certainly hope your viewers will uh, come on over and check it out, and you know, enjoy these five days, um, you know, celebrating sort of February and love, and hopefully, you know, put some mojo back in your uh, in your life again. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm all for that. I think that's awesome. So just to recap, then it starts on February 14th, runs for five days. It comes through email. So you are, if you select the link below, I'll put a link below in the description. You can click on that. I'll also post it on the Above Life channel Facebook page and the Bridget Inspired Facebook page. So you can just click on that link. It'll bring you right to it, like sign up. It's really, it's really an easy deal, really quick and easy. And then you'll get access to the Facebook page if you choose that as well. You'll get a link to that in your confirmation email. And so you can join that if you want to, you don't have to. And if you join the Facebook group, it sounds like you do not have to participate. You can just be there. You don't have to be all like chatty, talking to everybody, just, don't feel pressure, just do what you want. I don't know how much I'm gonna participate myself because I'm kind of shy in those groups. Like, I know it sounds weird, but I am. But nonetheless, it's creating an opportunity for community and interaction. And so if you want to be part of this experience with it, which I strongly encourage you to do, I know Laura very well. She's an awesome creative and I trust her as a leader, as a guide, as a facilitator. And so that's why I'm sharing this with you because I think it's very valuable and it's just the prime opportunity, you guys. And I'll be there too. I'll be in the group. So maybe I'll say hi if you're if you're in there and you're like, hey, Above Life Channel, you know, do like hashtag me or something in the Facebook group so I know that you're there so I can say hi to you. That would be awesome. I totally will do that. And uh, another important thing to note though is that Laura and I talked about this and uh, she mentioned that you have to sign up before it starts because then you'll get each of the days. If you miss a day, it's not the end of the world. You can, you know, get in on the next day, but you're, it's not like a normal course. It's a challenge. So you got to show up that day. You got to be present to be able to get that. So that means sign up now, right now. Okay. So go to the description, click on the link and sign up. And um, like I said, it'll also be on very, uh, face, the, fa the, the, the my Facebook pages as well. So and if anyone wants to find you, Laura, like you have a blog, you, I know you have a whole blog you referred to that you lived like Prince for a year, which sounds like it was totally the inspiration for this. 
um, where can they find you? How can they find you on social media and such? Sure, sure. Yeah, follow me on Facebook. It's my name, Laura, L-A-U-R-A, T-Bert, which is T, like Tom, I-E-B-E-R-T. So I'm on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram, Laura T-Bert, and on Twitter, at Laura uh, underscore Tebert. So you can find me in all those places. And my website is also lauratebert.com. Okay. And your blog's on your website? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. That is my blog. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Oh, and if somebody doesn't have the book, The Rise of Prince, how can they get that? Oh, The Rise of Prince. So this is on Amazon and okay. uh, yeah, just search for okay. The Rise of Prince. Um, and uh, it's Alex Hahn and Laura Tebert are the authors. So it looks like this. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Great. Is there anything else that you'd like to add before we wrap today? You know, I just want to add that, um, as you said, you know, these days are standalone. So um, it's not that you, if you, you know, miss day two, you aren't going to be able to do day three. These are standalone days. So, you know, if you have a very busy day, it's okay. Just go on to the next day. You're not missing anything and um, you'll be able to do that next day perfectly. So just come on, hop on in and, um, and join the fun. And um, I hope it's uplifting. And uh, yeah, I'm just so excited and, and looking forward to it. So thank you, Bridget, for, uh, for having me on to talk about it. Sure, sure. Thank you. This is a unique opportunity, viewers. This is really a unique opportunity. And so I hope you guys take advantage of it. Not, not too often do you get quality free stuff these days. And especially for those of you who adore prints and who love this idea of connecting with your intuition through creativity and getting out of your comfort zone a little bit, you will find, I think, that your spirit will definitely be inspired. All right. So thank you for so much for being here, Laura. I appreciate it very much. And thank you. cool opportunity with us all. All right, you guys, thanks so much for thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.